Well guys, I'm looking at my Victron setup here and it's not good. We are on 80% set of charge, but we're already floating. And I know exactly the reason for that. Because I told you in the last video, I have changed my solar charge controller settings now to absorption voltage at 3.4 volts. Obviously, we have reached this very quickly, maybe with a peak, you know, after a cloud. Voltage peaks and reaches 3.4 per cell. And then it goes into absorption mode for 15 minutes and we are now in float. <laughs> And welcome back to another video here from the off kit garage in sunny hot Australia. Yeah, that's this little island in the south. Just um, just look under the globe, you will see this island. That's us. So yesterday it was the first day when I charged the battery here with setting of 3.4 volts per cell as the maximum charge voltage when we hit absorption. And you could see from the footage before, that was yesterday when I, when I was away from home and I could see the battery is only charging to 80% then it stopped. And I said, what the heck is going on? Was there a fuse tripping somewhere, a breaker somewhere, triggering or something? What is going on? And then I said, no, we have f hit this 3.4 volts already. It went into absorption mode for 15 minutes and now it's lowering the voltage to 3.35 volts only. So we're charging even slower. And I haven't changed the settings since yesterday. I just wanted to see what's actually happening. And we can see exactly this. We are at 73% state of charge and we are on 53.6. 53.6 divided by 16. 3.35, we are already in float mode. Uh, west roof. Yeah. Here, charge controller, west roof, turned off. This is my prime time now. It is... 12 o'clock, it should bring like 1200, 1 1.5 kilowatts at least, 5 watts standby. We have reached the voltage, not charging any further, that's it. So 3.4 volts seem to be a little bit low and if you charge fast, you're reaching this 3.4 volt fairly quickly because it's in the flat area of the curve. And then your absorption time starts. I could potentially change the absorption time from 15 minutes to two hours. But still, there is the chance that we hit this in the morning because the sun just peeks out of the clouds. We hit this 3.4 volt and it triggers the absorption time. And then the clouds coming and the voltage goes down, but we are already triggering the absorption time. And after two hours, it goes to float automatically, regardless what's happening outside. So. From this perspective, I would say 3.4 volts. The 3.45 we had the day before worked perfectly fine. So obviously this is just when we start going in this steep area of the curve. Maybe if you are in winter time and you have lots of clouds for weeks, months, you could potentially lower the voltage to 3.4 for this period of time because you won't have these peaks and you don't charge fast. But here in summertime, it doesn't make sense to go that low. It would cut off the solar charge controllers and the battery is stuck now at 70% somewhere and it only trickle charges, you know. There's not much energy coming from, uh, from, from the solar and it just trickle charges at 3.35 volts. This would take now weeks until the battery goes full. So I have to change the controller settings again now to uh, 3.4 volt absorption for 15 minutes. And then we go down to 3.35 once we have reached this. 3.4 volts seems to be like 99% as we have seen in the previous videos. And as many of you have said, charging lithium iron phosphate to close to 100% is totally fine. I wouldn't charge it to 100%. I would not go to 3.65 and absorb. This would really then 100%. And this is only for 15 minutes basically and then we lower the voltage anyway to 3.35 and it stays there at 99.3% or something it was. Okay, let me quickly reprogram the controllers here. West roof, battery. So we want to go to 3.45 volts again times 16, 55.2. All right, 55. 0.2 volts. Okay, so this is now our new absorption voltage and the float voltage is totally fine. 
Um, absorption time 15 minutes. Perfect. Okay, we can now save this, save all these settings here and call them 3.45 volts. Just say OK. And I go back and go into the other controller on the east roof. And I'm just going and I'm just going to the download symbol up here and choose the 3.45 volt configuration file. Settings, settings file imported, apply. And now it has changed all the settings I made before with these new settings 55.2 and also the 15 milli, uh, 15 minutes. All right, so the only thing we now need, need to do is get the solar charge controllers out of float mode. And I think we can do this by just disabling the solar charge controllers for a moment. And the same with the west roof. Mm. Disable the solar charge controllers. So they're on zero. They are not doing anything at all anymore. And I don't know how long you have to leave them there, but this is what I have done in the past. I just left them there for a few minutes turn them back on and then they start a new cycle. They think it's a new day, basically. It starts a new cycle, so they think, oh yeah, it's morning again, there's solar coming in. Okay, we just start a new day and bulk charging. And then we should see the voltage increasing to 55.2 with the normal power coming in from the system to the batteries then. So that was interesting, 3.4 is not enough. Well, we did this test before with the um, lithium iron phosphate battery here, with the big one, the 100 ampere hour battery, where I charged to uh, 3.4 volt and then 3.5 volt with and without absorption. And um, we could see we are already charging to 80% at 3.4 volts, and then we absorb and we're getting almost to the same result as 3.5 volts. I'll link this video down below if I don't forget, otherwise search on the channel for it. I've got all the curves and all the data on my website as well for this test. But as you have seen yesterday, it stopped at around 80%. Today it stopped at 70%. So 3.4 is still flat area, not consistent where you stop. Depending on how much power you have put in the batteries already before, how high was your charging current, how much energy have the cells actually absorbed before you hit this 3.4 volts. And the testing we did months ago was with constant 20 amps. That's why we could repeat this result, but this is not what it is in real life. You know, sun is coming, clouds are coming. The current is different, absorbing energy time is different. The absorbed energy in these cells is then different every time. And this is exactly what we could see here, 70, 80% when we hit the 3.4. So I stick with the 3.45 at the moment here and see how this goes. I'm sure, I'm sure we will change this again in the future to do some further testing, but this is what the off-grid garage is for. We are doing all the testing here. You are not seeing on any other channel. But I just made this up. I don't know if someone else is testing all this. I don't know. But this is just what I'm interested in. I want to see what is going on if I charge to this voltage, to this voltage, to this voltage. Of course, there is information out there what the optimal settings are for lithium iron phosphate to charge. But I want to test. I want to explore. I want to find out. I want to see what's happening if we... If we leave this path, you know, we're going off-road again and experience that and see why it is happening, what is happening, and then we change it back to a value which is working. And then we go the other way. All right, let's try and start this charger here again and see if it goes into bulk. It is off at the moment. Let's see what it does. Bulk, there it is. I have triggered a new day. Okay, so that is working. East roof, controller is off. Go to settings, enable charger, flicks the switch, and east roof should come on bulk. Yep, all good. And now we should see full power going into the battery again. Until we hit 3.45 volts, which is 55.2 uh, in my case with the 48 volt battery here. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for all your comments under my videos. Even I'm not catching up anymore. I'm about five or six videos back now. 
I would really like to keep the communication open. I would like to reply to as many comments as possible, but it takes so much time. And now I'm six videos back. I will catch up. I promise I'll catch up. Because I think this is a very important part of this community here, of this channel, that I'm present in the comments all the time. I'm reading everything. I'm trying to comment as much as possible on, on all your comments. And I know not many other channels are doing this, especially when they're getting bigger. Not many of these creators are present in the comment section. And I found this really, really bad because this is the difference it makes. I don't want to be, a, I don't want to be someone who is just taking the camera and making videos and upload them for clicks or for income or whatever. I want to be present in the community. I want to help you out. I want to listen to you. I want to learn from you. I, I, want, to, I want to take on your comments and, and put this into what I'm doing here in the garage and, and get this feedback between you and, and me and us. And this is all, this is, this is important to me. All right, guys. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here, as I said. And I'll, I'll catch you in the next video, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Until then, thanks for watching again. See you then. Bye-bye. And by the way, guys, we've got 55 amps outside today. <laughs> After the solar charge controllers are kicking in again. Sunny hot Australia, 55 amps outside. Nice.